Use the bridges in my head by lighting up a fire. Bury Hi everyone, it's Matthew here and welcome to Stadium Number 10 in the Skybet EFL Championship 2018-19 project. The name Hillsborough for many conjures up memories of the disaster which occurred at the ground in 1989. The ground itself however has a long history, having served as the home of Sheffield Wednesday since 1899. As mentioned in a previous video, Sheffield Wednesday were formed in 1867 and played their first games at Bromall Lane before moving to Olive Grove in 1887, a move which led to the creation of their rivals Sheffield United. Wednesday continued to play at Olive Grove until the 1898-99 season when they were forced to leave the site as it was needed for railway expansions. Eventually, a 10-acre site on the banks of the River Don in the suburb of Owlerton was sold to the club for £5,000 plus costs by James Willis Dixon of Hillsborough House. The first incarnation of the ground, known as Owlerton Stadium, up until 1914, featured just two stands with capacities of 2,000 and 3,000, and it hosted its first match on 2nd of September 1899 when the Owls took on Chesterfield. The match ended 5-1 to Wednesday, however the first goal scored at the ground was by Chesterfield player Herbert Munday. The ground was eventually renamed Hillsborough in 1914, coinciding with a series of ground improvements and also taking its name from the newly created parliamentary constituency. In the time between opening day and the Second World War, Hillsborough hosted three FA Cup semi-finals, with the first in 1912 between West Bromwich Albion and Blackburn Rovers. The other two were both between Preston North End and Tottenham Hotspur. The stadium also hosted its first international fixture in April 1920 between England and Scotland. A new south stand was constructed in time for the FA Cup first round in 1913, while the cup was also increased in size. However, just four months later, a returning wall on the Peniston Road end collapsed, injuring 70 people. Following the war, Hillsborough became one of the top stadia in the UK, hosting 27 FA Cup semi-final fixtures, and was also selected as a host venue for the upcoming 1966 World Cup, where it would host first-round matches as well as a quarter-final, which saw West Germany eliminate Uruguay, winning 4-0. It was around this time that major work took place at Hillsborough, with the North Stand being demolished and replaced in 1961 at a cost of £150,000. The new stand was only the second stand in the country to be built with a cantilever roof, after the old shore ground in Scunthorpe, and almost doubled the stadium's capacity in the process from 9,000 to 16,000. It hosted its first League Cup final replay in 1977 between Everton and Aston Villa, before hosting three successive FA Cup semi-finals in the late 1980s, the last of these being remembered for all the wrong reasons. The aftermath of the disaster which led to the loss of 96 Liverpool supporters saw the introduction of the Taylor Report in 1990, which all but abolished perimeter and lateral fencing in football grounds and required all first and second division stadia in the UK to become all-seater by the summer of 1994. Leppins Lane as a result was converted in 1991. The court, which had a roof added in 1986, was converted to an all-seater in 1993 while the south stand, originally designed by Archibald Leach in 1914, was expanded and converted in 1996. There were plans to expand the ground if England won the rights to host the 2018 World Cup, however, as the bid was unsuccessful, the plans are on hold. During the 2018-19 season, Hillsborough was the second largest stadium in the Championship, with a capacity of 39,732, second only to Villa Park. It should be noted, however, that at the present time, this number is reduced to 34,854 on safety grounds. Either way, at the time of recording, it is currently the largest stadium I have ever built. The South Stadium and the Corp have the largest share with capacities of 11,352 and 11,210 respectively. The North Stand can seat 9,255, while the Lippins Lane End holds 6,658. Other areas such as the northwest corner is capable of holding 1,337 and the cop corner lastly holds around 400, although this number is generally included in the overall capacity of the Spion Corp. Hillsborough's record attendance currently stands at 72,841, setting an FA Cup quarter-final tie against Manchester City on 17th of February 1934. Since the ground became an all-seater, however, the record attendance stands at 39,640 in a Premier League match against Manchester United on the 2nd of February 2000. 
Away fans are allocated to the Leppings Lane end, however more often than not, only the upper tier will be in use. The South Stand features all of the stadium's main areas such as the offices, suites and hospitality areas as well as the players and official areas. Another feature of the South Stand is the Wednesday Tap, a small bar which can be found in the underpass beneath the stand. I began replicating the stadium in my Minecraft on March 9th, 2020, two days after I visited the ground to get the last few pictures I needed. Following completion of the Bet365 Stadium in mid-April, work sped ahead on Hillsborough and within days of the restart on April 19th, the stonework forming the south stand was in place. By May the 9th, the seating was also in place for the large part on the lower tier of the south stand, and with progress being made at a sufficient pace, work began on building the Leppings Lane end. The construction of, and the installation of, seating being completed less than a week later on May the 14th. Following this, work shifted to the north stand on May 16th, although work began to slow down following the completion of seating on the stand due to work beginning on other stadia at around this time. In an unusual step, the pitch was completed rather early, being added in early July before any of the stands were really finished. Seating installation stadium-wise was finished on July 10th, with roof installation following on July 23rd. Six days later, Leppings Lane was the first stand finished, followed by the COP on August 20th, the North Stand on the 23rd, and finally with the interior fitted and landscaping complete, the South Stand and the stadium as a whole was completed on August 31st. I've listed a link to my Instagram page where you'll be able to follow updates on all of my projects as and when I post them. And with that, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video and let me know in the comments what you think of it. As always, like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. in my mind Missing the fights I don't care if I'm right Let's just buy a bit more time